everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Um, I'm on all social media, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits. Crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy. I also have a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is something different. This is something that will be on the website every day from now on on jamiezebra23.com. Also, um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Keep in mind that the readings are general, so this is not, they are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Also, keep in mind... Um, that um, you must place an order before I can schedule you. So there's no need to email me and ask me what's on the website when you can simply go to the website and check yourself, right? So, um, and if you have any questions about the items on my website, you simply go to the description box of the item on the website and it tells you the times, the dates, um, when you should hear back from me, what the protocol is, all of that can simply be found by just going to the website and looking at the description. All right, guys, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Ta-ta for now. Hi, my air signs. It's Jamie Zebra 23. I am doing your love spread for um, for each individual sign. You guys are more than welcome to timestamp. I'm going to start with Libra. This is um, this is a timeless reading, so at any time this could resonate. Be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Okay, let's do Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is in regards to love, by the way. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Love and romance for my Libras. Whoa. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this one. So there could be an Earth sign, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Oh. The Hermit card in the reverse. It's saying you guys know who this is or this person was kind of stalking a little bit or lurking a little bit or spying a little bit, but the jig is up. You know. You already know. Five of Cups. They're upset with what they see. They feel like they got to rush in before you move on. Okay, Libra, somebody doesn't want you to move on. Three of Swords. Also, somebody's somebody's worried that you're um, that you're thinking about your ex, or you're thinking about somebody from the past. Maybe a childhood romance. Somebody you had a crush in from a crush on since childhood. A third. Somebody's worried that you're going to be tempted into cheating with this Three of Swords here. Somebody's worried. So, okay, Libra, maybe you're very successful. Maybe you got a lot of money, or you got a lot of um, you got a lot of good things happening for you, or potentially you have a lot of good things that are going to be happening for you. Somebody, somebody wants to be. Somebody is in love with you, but they also want to be stuck to that outcome of success. So it's kind of like: Are you a basketball player? Are you a football player? A singer? A, mu a musician? Are you in politics? Somebody who who they feel like they would like to be on their arm. Like, I want to say my husband or my wife is so successful. They do this or they do that. So Libra, somebody's, somebody's with you. You're successful, but they're looking back and thinking, okay, I just saw a message from his ex or I saw him looking at old childhood photos. He said he used to date this girl. Oh no, is he, or this guy. Oh no, is he or she in love with them still? Are they going to drop me? If this person is available, are they going to drop me like I'm nothing? So either you're insecure like this or somebody's insecure like this about you. Could be a Virgo involved, could be a Sagittarius Leo or Aries involved, could be a Libra, fellow Libra, Gemini or Aquarius, could be a Capricorn, a Taurus or a Virgo, big emphasis on Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. We got, yeah, this is somebody reminiscing about the past. Virgo, maybe there is somebody from your childhood that is reminiscing about you and they may, they may tell you, Libra, they might tell you, they might be like, listen, you know, I've seen you on social media, I've seen you posting and I just wondered, you know, what it would have been like if I would have given you another shot or where things would have been between us. I feel like somebody's going to tell you that. Like, I always had a crush on you. Maybe you never knew. I always had a thing for you. I always thought you were special, incredible, amazing. Somebody that you're not really expecting is going to be pouring their heart out to you. You may have to choose. Then we got the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There could be a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Maybe, Libra, you're connected to a fire sign. But maybe you're any one of these exes or one of the people. But this fire sign wants to be with you forever. The Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Okay, so I'm going to do um, clarifiers. 
Okay, so for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers for Libra. What can they expect? Clarifier cards. Okay. So for some of you, there is... Um, Somebody may be coming to do a welfare check. Somebody may be coming to check on somebody. Maybe somebody's concerned about somebody. Somebody's coming to check. Be careful of turning some, don't, be careful if you're dating, if you guys are dating, be careful about telling somebody personal information about yourself because I feel like they might try to do something mean to you or kind of stab you in the back. They may try to stab you in the back because you're not like being romantic with them or they're not getting what they want from you. So they might try to be revengeful. Some of you are trying to write a book or something. They're saying publish whatever this is, whatever you're trying to create, either trademark it, publish it, brand it. They're saying now is the time to move forward with that. Okay, now let's do Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. What can be expected in love and romance for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers? The star card, so there's you. The seven of wands, whatever obstacles in love and romance are currently happening, they're going to be overcome. If this is a legal issue, it's overcome. If this is a money issue, it's overcome. What there, there could be an issue with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. It's being overcome. Also with the judgment card here, it's saying that there's a change of position in this. So let's say you were with an earth sign and maybe the earth sign was being mean to you or didn't want to be with you or their money sucked or they had legal trouble or, you know, you did, your sex life sucked. It's changing for the better. So Aquarius, whatever this obstacle is in your love life, it's changing for the better. I feel like this is somebody that you're currently with. It's changing to the Ace of Cups. Wish fulfillment, happiness, the right things are happening. We got the high priestess here. I feel like spiritually inside you, you know this, but you, um, but you didn't know for sure. You had your doubts. Okay, what some of you don't know is that there's a Pisces that's in love with you. What some of you don't know is that there is a fire sign from the past coming back, a Sagittarius or Aries. Both parties want love. There's a Pisces that's in love with you. There's a fire sign that's in love with you. Could be a man or a woman. Justice. Trials over, because the lover's card also means trials overcome, and then you got the justice card. You guys are getting out of legal issues. If, if you or someone you know is in a legal issue, it's being done. It's, it's completed. As of June. I mean, as for the collect, or I mean, for, for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers for right now. The Chariot and the Page of Swords. Somebody could be looking for someone's car. Try not to engage in a hit and run. Somebody could be watching a, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo driving, or a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo is trying to locate your vehicle or locate you through a vehicle. If you have a garage, you may want to park the car in the garage. Got the four of wands, the five of wands, and the nine of wands. There could be some issues coming up. So harassment is what I see. Some 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 kind of fucking harassment is happening. Now let's do some clarifiers. But I feel like it's gonna be overcome. I feel like um, this harassment is illegal. So I feel like you could maybe lawyer up or hire someone or maybe make a complaint and they'll leave you alone. All right, let's see. Clarifiers for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Clarifiers. Okay, some of you are going to be working out a lot more. You're going to be focused on working out. So a healthier lifestyle. Okay. All right, um, somebody who lives on your property or works on your property has a crush on you. So this could be the, um, the Amazon guy or girl. This could be the postman or postwoman. This could be maintenance. This could be a painter. This could be a landscaper. This could be the person fixing the pavement. This could be, you've got management on the site. It could be management that has a crush on you. Also beware of car troubles. Car, they were talking about that here. Beware of maybe a hit and run, so something with a car. Be careful. Don't drink and drive. And then for some of you, it's um, it's a baby daddy or a baby mama that could have this, this issue. 
that you could be dealing with. All right, my Aquarius. Now let's do, so we did Libra, we did Aquarius. Now we have to do Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. In love and romance, what can they expect in love and romance? What can be expected in love and romance? Love and romance, what can they expect? Gemini, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Ooh. The King of Pentacles in the reverse, the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Tower card in the reverse. So for some of you, somebody who is negative towards you, somebody who cheated, somebody who didn't use protection, somebody who somebody who pretty much did anything, like there was no like, wait a minute, that's not right, or wait a minute, I, I have somebody I love at home, so I'm not gonna betray them this way. Somebody who didn't have those restraints at all, they wanna come back now, they're sorry. They're, they got karma. Their, their world is upside down. They realize the damage that they did. Could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Could be a Scorpio. Yep, somebody's heartbroken now. Somebody got a taste of their own medicine. Maybe somebody did to them what they did to you. And now they want to come back. Or somebody that they left you for. You lose them how you got them. Somebody that they left you for is now fucking them over. Royally. Yep, now they want to come back to you and make you an offer of love. They want to reach out romantically. Also, some of you have a new fire sign coming in, a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Five of Pentacles, Games of Hazard. Five of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody could be telling you something that their house burnt down. Somebody could be telling you that um, something bad happened. Maybe somebody doesn't like your job. Discrimination. Somebody doesn't like your job. Maybe a romantic interest doesn't like your job, doesn't like your beliefs. Doesn't doesn't feel like you'd fit in with their family. Because your beliefs or your job. Maybe you're you are a high priestess. Maybe you are a spiritual person. Somebody doesn't like your job. Somebody doesn't agree with your job. You make a lot of money. You maybe own a business, but they don't like your job, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers, or you don't like their job. You're, it's saying that um, that somebody wants to be a family unit, but there's some things that somebody disapproves of. That's going to make it hard. Now let's do some clarifiers for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Clarifier cards. What, what, what do they need to know? Cahoots. Somebody wants to work with you. Somebody wants to be in cahoots with you and not against you. They want to work with you. They want to help you to get healthy, maybe mentally healthy, physically healthy. Somebody wants to help work with you. Somebody wants to help you. Your family. Your family wants you to be a success. Your family wants to help you through some hard times. Your family wants to protect your health. Desperately, your family wants to protect you and your health and your well-being. They, they want you to be successful in life. That's their big thing. All right, my air signs have an amazing um, moving forward. JamieZebra23.com to talk for now. Please keep in mind that um, I've got a second tarot card channel. It's JamieZebra23Chat. If you want to go over there, like, share, and subscribe. Also, um, if you've ordered a same-day reading or an $8 one question, one answer via email only and you've not heard from me, feel free to email me to let me know so that I can hurry up and answer your questions or do your readings. Also, if you guys have um, placed an order and um, you've not heard from me for a while, it's because I'm in the middle of doing readings or I'm in the middle of recording like I am now, or I'm in the middle of um, taking care of children or out doing errands or taking my special needs son to his doctor's appointments. There's reasons why I'm not answering your emails. I'm not ignoring you. So if I've not answered you within about 45 minutes, feel free to email me to let me know. And then I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, what else? 
most likely the reading special is still going on for a few more hours on jamiezebra23.com. I have to mention this in every reading because what will happen is I'll post the reading special and you guys don't get the alert until three days after. And then you're like, Jamie Zebra 23, I missed the reading special. I never know when it is. I always miss it. So now I just say the reading special is still going on for a few more hours because it may be. <laughs> so you simply go to the website. Also, I can't... um. I can't list everything that's on the website to everybody that emails me when you can simply just go to the website and see what's on the website, right? If something's on the website, that means it's available. jamiezebra23.com. Ta-ta for now. Like, share, subscribe, and comment.